Hello Wisdom Seekers, welcome to the seventh installment in our 10-part series dissecting the timeless classic, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Over the past six episodes, we've journeyed through fascinating insights and life-altering principles. Your enthusiasm and curiosity have been the wind beneath our wings. So, what's in store for today? Well, we're about to explore chapters 10, 11, and 12 from part three, how to win people to your way of thinking. Buckle up and let's get started. Imagine being a magnet that attracts people to your way of thinking. Sounds appealing, doesn't it? Welcome to chapter 10, the appeal that everybody likes, where we delve into the art of appealing to nobler motives. In this chapter, Dale Carnegie illuminates the principle of appealing to nobler motives. But what does that mean exactly? Well, it's all about finding the higher ground, the loftier ideal that elevates a conversation or a negotiation beyond the mundane and into the realm of the noble. It's about tapping into the part of us that aspires to do good, to be better, to make a difference. Let's illustrate it with an example. Imagine you're a manager trying to motivate your team to work overtime. Instead of merely offering extra pay, which might work for some, you appeal to their sense of pride, their commitment to the project, their desire to see it succeed. You're not just asking them to work more, you're inviting them to be part of something larger, something meaningful. And how about applying this principle in our day-to-day -day life? Let's say you're persuading your child to clean their room. Instead of ordering them to tidy up, you could appeal to their sense of responsibility, explaining how their actions contribute to a harmonious household. Suddenly, it's not just about cleaning a room, it's about becoming a responsible individual. A word of caution though, this principle isn't a manipulative tool. It's a way to genuinely connect with others, to understand their values and aspirations, and align your requests or proposals accordingly. It's about respect, empathy, and mutual growth. Now, how do you implement this principle? Listen more, understand the other person's perspective, discover their values, and align your appeal with those values. It's not always easy, but the rewards are immense. Remember, appealing to nobler motives can turn you into a people magnet. Now, isn't that a superpower you'd like to have? Ever wondered why movies and radio are so captivating? It's because they tell stories. Think about it. When was the last time you found yourself engrossed in a film or radio drama? What was it that held your attention? The answer is simple. It was the story. We humans are hardwired to love stories. They allow us to experience different emotions, to walk in someone else's shoes, and to see the world from a different perspective. This principle isn't just limited to the big screen or the airwaves. It can be employed in our day-to-day -day interactions to win people to our way of thinking. So, how do we do this? Firstly, we need to understand that effective storytelling is more than just relating facts or events. It's about creating a narrative that touches the listener's emotions, that paints a vivid picture, and that resonates with their experiences. Take the example of a salesperson trying to convince a customer to buy a product. Instead of merely listing the features of the product, they could tell a story about how this product helped someone in a similar situation. The story serves as a testament to the product's effectiveness, making it more relatable and convincing. Moreover, stories are memorable. We might forget facts and figures, but we remember stories. They stick in our minds. So if you want your ideas to have a lasting impact, wrap them in a compelling story. But remember, a good story isn't enough. It needs to be delivered well. The tone, the pacing, the pauses, everything matters. Practice your storytelling skills. Observe how great storytellers weave their magic. And most importantly, be authentic. People can sense insincerity a mile away. So my friends, it's time to embrace the power of storytelling. Use it to influence, to convince, to inspire. Remember, everyone has a story to tell. You just need to find yours and tell it compellingly. So by becoming a great storyteller, you can win people to your way of thinking. Time to unleash your inner bard. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, we hit a wall. But guess what? There's a secret weapon you can use. Welcome to the world of challenges. A challenge, my friends, isn't just to be hurled at knights in shining armor. It's a powerful tool that can be used to motivate people, inspire them to reach new heights, and ultimately, get them to see things from your perspective. Let's consider the principle of throwing down a challenge. This isn't about conflict or a duel at dawn. It's about igniting that spark of competition within people, that desire to prove themselves and to excel. When you throw down a challenge, you're essentially saying, I believe in your potential. Show me what you can do. Think of it like a game of chess. You're not just moving pieces around, you're strategizing, you're engaging your opponent, and you're inviting them to step up their game. Now let's delve into the real world. Picture a manager who wants to increase productivity. 
Instead of just demanding more from the staff, the manager could present it as a challenge, set targets, offer rewards, make it a competition. This does more than just increase productivity. It boosts morale, increases job satisfaction, and fosters a positive working environment. Or consider a teacher, trying to get students to read more. Instead of just assigning books, what if the teacher created a reading challenge? The students who read the most books get to pick the next class outing. Suddenly, reading isn't just homework, it's an exciting competition. So, the next time you find yourself at a standstill, remember this principle. A challenge can be the nudge that people need to step out of their comfort zones and embrace new perspectives. It's a way to motivate, to inspire, and to win people over without coercion or conflict. Throwing down a challenge can be a game changer. It's like the wild card in your hand. Use it wisely. What an enlightening journey through these chapters, wouldn't you agree? We've covered some ground today, so let's take a moment to revisit our lessons. First, we delved into the appeal that everybody likes, appealing to nobler motives. It's about looking beyond the surface and tapping into the deeper, more altruistic inclinations in others. It's a powerful tool that can truly transform interactions and relationships. Next, we explored the art of storytelling, a technique utilized by movies and radio. It's not just about telling a tale, it's about making your point through a narrative that resonates. Stories have the power to connect, inspire, and persuade in a way that simple facts or arguments cannot. And finally, we discovered a technique to use when nothing else works, throwing down a challenge. It's about harnessing the competitive spirit, the desire to achieve and excel. It's a strategy that can motivate and inspire, leading to incredible results. The beauty of these principles is that they're not confined to the pages of a book, but are applicable in our day-to-day -day lives. Whether it's a conversation with a friend, a business negotiation, or a personal goal you're striving to achieve, these principles can guide the way. And so, we encourage you to implement these principles. Try them out, play with them, and watch how they change your interactions and relationships. Remember, these principles aren't just theories from a book, they're tools for life. Use them, and watch how you win friends and influence people. Before we wrap up, here's something for you. If you found value in our deep dive into these timeless principles, why not give it a thumbs up? Let's share the wisdom. Send this video to someone who could benefit. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop. We've still got three more insightful videos to go in this series, each one packed with strategies to help you win people over. Stay tuned for the next video in this series. Until then, keep influencing and winning.